In this session, I'm going to cover some of the tools that are available at your disposal. We're going to go through Maslin Library page, the online catalog, some of the databases that are available, journals, and libguides for you as students here at Cairn University. So to get to the library page, to the Maslin Library page, we go to library.cairn.edu, and you'll be presented with a page similar to this. At this point, you can either search all the different resources that are available from the main page here, and uh, also access different services such as uh, renewing books and uh, Milton tutorial and research guides and all that type of stuff. On the right hand side there is also this Ask a Librarian live chat uh, during evening hours and throughout the day. Um, you can ask a question directly from this page and one of the professional librarians will be able to answer your questions. So getting started with searching here, um, you can do a search directly from this main page and that's going to search throughout all the resources that are available in the, the Maslin library. Or you can click under the advanced search and this is one of the features that I also talked in one of the previous lectures where you can actually customize the search uh, further by different fields like author, title, subject and so on. And you can add those operators that I talked before like and and not, or, and you even have some additional ones such as near, before, and after. This is part of the keyword, advanced keyword search, that you can limit the search by location, by the material type, and also by additional criteria. So if we go here, for example, and we do a search for outsourcing, then click on find it. Notice you have the search results automatically displayed here. You have 48 that are available at the library and uh, 69 items that are available online. Now for those that are available at the library, notice you have the location for them and that you can add those to the cart. Additionally, there are uh, best bets. Notice you have the top results here for best bets. You also have the PDF documents so you can actually click on this PDF directly from this page and you'll be able to open it up and view the full text article. Let's go back here and um, again you can go through each one of those add them to the cart when you're done with a the cart. Then you can click here on my cart three items and you could either email those to yourself or save them for future reference and access them later after having logged in. Notice additionally here you have the advanced search capabilities and this was available from the, the previous page that we saw or from here under the search results and you can search by keyword. So the search that we did was by keyword. You can also change this to be by subject and you could have additional operators here like and and so on and then click on search again and notice at this point the results are slightly different from before. Before we had 80 some results. And that's because it's searching for that specific subject. Now the other thing here in this search to keep in mind is that it's displaying us the catalog results like 48 in this case and those were in print and those are the results for the from the catalog however you can click here under articles and it's going to give you notice 178,000 results on outsourcing these are all the different articles available from all the different databases sources and all that type of stuff and from here you can go and further and notice there are 132,000 they are full text articles and then there are also a bunch of them peer reviewed. So if you wanted to just to see the full text, click on them and then go and evaluate what's necessary and what's not so necessary. If you needed to check, for example, specific, specific databases, for example, for business students, this might be the LexisNexis. Uh, it's probably one of the better ones. So there are 100 results from this one. So you click on Nexus Lexus and then you have the different articles from here. Additionally, you can uh, sort them by a specific year, let's say the latest published uh, articles here, for example, on 2012. Again, we need to click on articles here and then go and change the criteria. 
So this might change from time to time, from now till the next time you do a research paper, but the ideas are look around the page, see what's available, and keep in mind that you can do advanced searches, you can search a catalog or actual articles here. So that was just the searching from the main page here of the library. The other thing that you can do is that you can search the actual library catalog by itself and the library catalog you can search the entire collection here or you can search by keyword, by title, by author, by subject and so on. So let's do a keyword on outsourcing. Now this is going to tell us what type of resource it is, what the call number is, and all that type of stuff. You can add them to the cart, and notice there are 87 results similar to what we got earlier. If you're searching for a book, you'd click on uh, the title of the book, for example, Outsourcing. And then these are some of the uh, books that are available. And again, these are books that are available online, so you'd click on it or click on access the electronic book, and there is the whole book available online. Notice there are no advertisements, no pop-ups, no a waste of time at this point. So it's really valuable so far to see here that you go under the library page, you can search either from the main page here or search under the library catalog, search by keyword, by title, and so on and then add those to the cart and you can print them out or access them from there. Let's go back to the library main page here. Let's uh, briefly go through some of the databases. So the library catalog is going to search through all these articles and the resources that are available. However, another tool uh, that you have at your disposal is the online databases and the library actually pays a lot of, the university pays a lot of um, uh, money for those resources so it's very beneficial that you as business students and any students at Cairn utilize those resources. So uh, here are all the databases that are available only to the Cairn community, uh, those that have the Cairn logo. Now you'd say well what resource is available for the business students? The way to know what resource is available for you it's uh, either by looking at the description here, so notice it says business, or another method is if you go back to the main page and this is what I'd recommend that you access and utilize as business students is to access the libguides. So you go here under libguides and then you go under business research and this is basically a guide that the library staff has put together for you as for the business majors. And the way it works is that you have these tabs here. So you have the getting started guide, reference, books that are available for your major, journals that are available, and so on. These guides are available for other schools as well. For example, if you're in counseling, if you're in Bible or arts and so on. So they have their own guides as well. So in this case, we'll go to the or business research. And from here, you can search the library catalog by keyword, similar to what we did earlier. You can search the business e-resources. So these would be the databases that are available for business students. So it's a whole bunch of them. So let's say outsourcing. And let's say that we don't care for the other ones. We just want the full text ones. So we click on search here. And notice, so far you have 37,000 articles. Let's say you want also the peer-reviewed ones. So you push uh, peer-reviewed. And notice we have the PDF articles directly from here. So you'd click on it and then open it up. Other things that you can do here, because notice that there are 37,000 records for any of these uh, sources. So for example, um, if you wanted to customize this further, you can also add the additional operators that we learned or um, keyword searches that we learned earlier. So we can add like outsourcing and impact and IT and then workers. Notice now we have only 243 results here. So we don't waste time going through 40,000 results out there. And now we have only 60 results because those are peer reviewed. Now what it's doing here is that it's searching throughout all of those databases. 
it's searching through business source elite newspaper source religious business news ebook collection and so on and the way we got to this it was by going to the lib guide and then instead of searching the catalog searching the integrated business databases